Hi folks, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be doing a quick review of the app that you need to fill out when you're entering Canada. It's called ArriveCan application. Let's jump right into it. So what is ArriveCan and who needs to use it? With all the traveling restrictions due to COVID-19 pandemic, countries have come up with measures, rules and guidelines. And Canada also has its rules regarding entering the country. One of these rules is that you need to fill out ArriveCan application. Regardless of your residency or vaccination status, it is mandatory to fill out ArriveCan if you're entering Canada. You need to fill it out within 72 hours before your flight to Canada. Usually, you will be asked if you have a RiveCan app ticket before you board your plane. So don't hope that you will have time to fill it out when you're in line going through security in Canada. You have to do it in advance. There are some exceptions regarding 72 hours rule. For example, if you're traveling on a vessel other than cruise ship, due to some internet difficulties on the water, you need to fill out a RiveCan right before or upon entering Canada. Or if you're transiting through Canada to a different country and are not leaving a secure area, you're not required to fill it out. There is also an option to fill out a RiveCan for a group of people if you're traveling together. Say it's your spouse or a partner or a dependent, etc. You can do it for up to eight people in a group, including yourself and only if you're planning to stay at the same address for the possible quarantine. There's a tricky part in this scenario. If your group has mixed vaccination status and are foreign nationals, you should submit separate ArriveCan applications unless they are your dependents. You can also fill out ArriveCan on behalf of someone else who is unable to use the app. In this case, you will need to provide them a receipt to this person once you finish filling out the application. Okay, so now let's move on to the app itself and see how to fill it out. We're using the mobile app here, but you can also go through the same process in your computer browser. First, you need to download the app from App Store or Google Play. You have to register, and once you're logged in, you can click Start to proceed with your application. Choose the status that applies to you – a citizen, worker, visitor, student or other. How are you entering Canada? This can be done by air on the plane, by land, it can be either car, bus or train, or by vessel. We will choose air in this case, as most travelers enter Canada on the plane. Click Next, as this is just an informative page about possible random COVID testing on arrival. Next, you need to input your flight details. If you're flying through transit countries and are staying in the secure zone during layovers, you should note here the country from which you originally departed, not the country where your last flight is coming from. Choose arrival airport, your airline, flight number, and date of arrival. Next, you need to fill out your phone number that you can be reached at when in Canada and preferred language of communication. If you're filling out ArriveCan for the first time, you will also be asked to scan your travel document at this point. You will need to provide your COVID vaccination status, as well as brand of vaccines you've got, dates, and country of vaccination. Next, you will need to download your vaccine certificates. If you've filled out ArriveCan before, this information will already be stored in the system. At this point, you could add more people to your group by going through the same steps. In the following section, you will be provided with requirements regarding quarantine, COVID testing, and history of your travel 14 days before your arrival to Canada. You will be asked to provide your quarantine plans, like actual address where you will be staying. If you're filling out a Rife can for several people, keep in mind that this will be the quarantine plan for all of the group. And last part is COVID self-assessment, where you need to specify if you have fever, cough, etc. And that's it, your application is done. The end screen will show you your ArriveCan receipt with your airport and time of arrival, 
number and status of travelers in your group, and most importantly, your arrive can ticket number and QR code. Keep this handy before checking in for your flight and during your travel to Canada. When you arrive to Canada, you also need to go through customs and fill out customs declaration. In many airports, it has been automated and you can do it in a special booth and get printed out declaration at the end. Now, ArriveCan application allows you to do it beforehand, also 72 hours in advance, and save time at the airport. Currently, this feature is only available for Toronto and Vancouver International Airports and only through web browser app. Mobile apps, as well as other airports, will be added further in 2022. Thank you for watching our video. We hope it helped you answer some of the questions you had about traveling to Canada and current entry requirements. Safe travels, till next time.